Hi and welcome, my name is John Ifragan, I'm from All Total Coaching. What I want to talk to you today is how mainstream media is destroying all of us. You, me, all of us. But before we start, I'd like to talk about a program, How to Be a Man, which your father never taught you. We talk about manhood, what is a man, how to be a man, woman, relationships and sex. Media, manipulation, indoctrination via the movies, health, food, and exercise, money, wealth, what you're not taught at school, value, what is it and why it's so important, how to overcome the biggest phenomenon in our generation, depression and fear, and happiness and fulfillment, feminism, the real truth. So today, I'd like to talk about how mainstream media is destroying our lives. Whatever you look at mainstream media, it's all negative. Constant barrage, anti-Trump, anti-Hillary. I'm not going to the argument if you're for him or her, against him or for her. It's nothing to do with it. But the constant barrage of negativity and the constant barrage of constant maniacal attacks on certain people causes division. And mainstream media know to control the narrative, they have to create sensations. And the more sensations, the more they make money. But let's look at, it's your life. Is your life improving by listening to this junk? All it does is make you angry. There's research done that when you see a bad story, you on average you share it between 14 to 20 times. If you see a good story of a cat or dog, you may share it three to five times. So negativity sells. And the mainstream media, in order to control the narrative and to control your mind, is to divide you. The more negativity and the more systematic attacks they do on certain people, you'll never hear about the homeless person that had an affair. Because he doesn't sell. But you will hear about Morgan Freeman. You'll hear about Weinstein. You'll hear about this one or that one or you name it. Why? Because it sells. You will never ever hear in mainstream media about that homeless man that had an affair. You know, because it doesn't sell. But celebrities and, and uh, high people, it will always sell. And therefore, it's easier to attack them because people will read it and clickbait. And this is how they make the money. And the more negativity and the more systematic attack, the more people read, the more they get consumed it, instead of fixing their own friggin' lives. And then they wonder why you're depressed. In Mein Kampf, the book of Hitler, more than 80, 90 years ago, he wrote, you control the media, you control the perception, you control public opinion. This is what's happening all over again. But today, it's for money. They don't get, some of these people that sell the news, they don't even believe the news. Today, it doesn't matter if it's real or not. Just get it out there. The quicker you get clickbait, the more money you make, even there's the lawsuit. If they cost them a hundred grand, they still make three, four hundred thousand or whatever. So it's worth it. And bad news sells. But if you, as a person, keep watching mainstream media and this negativity, non-stop negativity, you're like a sponge. You accumulate more shit, more shit, more shit. And then you wonder when I squeeze, what comes out? Anger. Isolation. Bitterness. Hatefulness. More than ever before in the last 18 years, there's more racial divide than ever before. Why? Because it's constantly thrown in your face. But if nobody talked about it, it would exist, of course, to some degree. But it wouldn't exist to the same extent it is today. Today, the amount of hate against white people is insane. I've never seen such a systematic attack on white people like ever before. Now, do some white people blame, deserve some blame? Yes. But is it all white people? It's like saying all Jews or all Muslims. It is, it's totally insane. But it sells. And the media want to control you by dividing you. If I go down the street and I scream about a certain issue, people will think I'm crazy. But if I do the same thing, the same clothes, and I've got 10,000 people behind me, suddenly I've got a protest. Why? 
that I'm doing the same thing because they know by controlling the people and dividing them, they control the agenda. By controlling the agenda, but divide and conquer. People are powerful when they're united and people are weak when they're divided. And the media know this. That's why they've been powerful for so long and that's why they systematically attack your mind. Today, the biggest, the biggest and most important thing is controlling your mind, how you think. Because if they control how you think, they'll be able to sell you and poison you and they'll make you the clear zombie the majority of Western people are in the West today. Zombie society. They can't even think outside the box. A while back, a friend of mine got systematic attacks on certain things on the, on, the, on the internet. And he said, let's debate on this issue. If you're such a big man or a big woman, why don't you come and debate me face to face and we put on the internet. Today, 95% of people are internet keyboard warriors. When it's face to face, they don't have the balls. They don't have the guts. They can criticize because they can stay anonymous. That's what sells, criticism. But think about it. By you criticizing him or her, what have you gained? Nothing. All you do is poisoning yourself again and again and again. And this is how mainstream media is poisoning your mind, controlling you, instead of you having a relaxed life and living in harmony with yourself. By watching mainstream media again and again, does that make you happier or more angry about the state of the world? Think about what I just said. By not watching mainstream media, you may not know that your life is more tranquil. I hardly watch mainstream media. The problem is mainstream media has infested Facebook and Instagram and everywhere. So you've got no escape from it. But the more you minimize, the better your life will be. Today it's poison. And I ask you today, just to think for a second. Is this making your life better watching mainstream media? The mainstream media is ruining you, ruining me and ruining all of us. Wake up so you can take control back of your life, so you can get what you really want. I really, really hope this woke you up. In our program, How to Be a Man, we talk about the media and how they indoctrinate you via the movies and all the sensational articles and, 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 and news that 90% of them are blown out of proportion. The majority of dumb people believe what's written in the media when 90% of it is exaggerated. I'm not saying sometimes there's not a bit of truth in it, but they're blown out of proportion. Because the more sensationalism, the more they can sell, and the more can make money from advertisements. You will never hear about that success story, about that woman or that man that was homeless and educated themselves, and today they're, they're, they're a CEO or whatever. You'll never hear that story, because it doesn't sell. But you'll hear about one thing. You'll hear about, uh, about all these pedophilias and whatever. You'll hear about Trump, about Hillary, or what, what he did. Whatever. That's what you hear. Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. Wake up. We all hear about peace in the Middle East. The biggest peace you'll ever make is with yourself. And if you don't make peace with yourself, your life will be in turmoil. And your life will be in turmoil. You're going to get depressed. And you're going to get depressed, you're going to eventually go to the doctor. And if you go to the doctor, eventually you'll take pills. And eventually you'll take pills and more pills and you'll have suicidal thoughts. Think what I just said for one second. I really, really hope this woke you up. And for once in your life, you actually can see the truth. If I just woke up one of you, this video wasn't in vain. Thank you very much for listening. Look us up at WWO Total Coaching. I can change your life. The question is, do you want to? Or are you going to keep doing the same thing again and again, expecting different results? Thank you very much for listening. I'm your friend, Johnny Friend.